Hello guys, this is Eric Torles and welcome to Cinema 4D Beginner Guide Part 3. Today we're going to be talking about uh, keyframing, camera movement, and uh, object animation. So, hopefully you saved the project file that we were working on last week. Uh, so if you have, open it up. If you haven't, you should watch the other, the last few tutorials on this. So, here's what we have right now. We have lighting, we have text, and we have a plane. So, now let's do animation over text. So, uh, basically, let's do a roll intro first. So, I don't even know what to start, where to start. Uh, let's just select our text and let's select our move tool and then let's move it forward like if the camera would be here looking at the text then you would move it behind the camera so just move it forward like that okay just a little bit more or backwards I don't know I think that's if it's behind the camera, it's already backwards. Anyways, then raise it up a little bit. And then, uh, and then put a keyframe. Make sure that the text is selected. Select the text and put a keyframe. Uh, and the keyframe is this little icon, which is, uh, which is red, and there's like a little key inside of it. Also, make sure that you're on frame zero and that the text in this position. And now keyframe it. So this will make sure that the text at the beginning stays right here. And then move move up the timeline. Uh, maybe to like 60 frames. And then move your text back to where it was before so move forward and down okay so just position it in the right place and keyframe that okay so now if you go back to the beginning and you play this it goes like that but I'll also show you guys how to do a spinning motion so it spins into place. So go to frame zero, select the first keyframe that you did, and then select the rotate tool, and then rotate this this way, like one and a half times, maybe two times, and then keyframe this again, and make sure you're on the same frame that you keyframed it before. So then keyframe it. And now if we play this, as you can see, it rolls in. So if you're a beginner, that'd be a pretty cool effect. Anyways. Uh, okay, so now that we have our text animation, now let's uh, do a camera animation. So grab your camera or add a camera object. Okay, and then go to cameras, use camera, camera, and what did that will do, like doing this, cameras, use camera, camera, that will uh, put you in the perspective of the actual camera. So you won't have to be looking outside the camera, you're actually looking through the camera's lens, if you want to look at it that way. Anyways, let's move it forward a little bit. Here you got some controls. And sorry I didn't go over that in the first part. I should have done that. Anyways, here are the controls. At the top, there's like this uh, four ar arrows. That's to go to the sides, up and down. There's one that shows forward and backwards. So you simply move your mouse forward and backwards either or maybe to the sides that works too sometimes <clears throat> and then there's the rotate camera 
Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Anyways, move this a little bit closer to the text, but make sure that the text is still seen within these lines. So, so it fits within these lines, these uh, half transparent uh, borders. Anyways, uh, now let's see. Now go to frame. Go to frame. Let me think. Go to frame 20 and select your camera and uh, keyframe. Or no, go, go a little bit backwards. Sorry, guys. Go a little bit backwards. Move your camera up a little bit until you can see the text like so. And then uh, keyframe it. Yeah, so frame 20, move the camera up until you can see the text like that. And then keyframe the camera. And then go to frame, go to frame 70 and move the camera closer to the text again. So you can see it within the borders of the screen and keyframe it again. So now you have this text is moving and your the camera is moving too. So that looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much this pretty much covers the keyframing of the camera and the text or like any object. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. Thank you for watching. And by the way, I forgot to mention. Uh, if you're new to this channel, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I'm going to be releasing a Modern for 3 top 5 plays countdown and it's going to be free available to everybody. If I get 1000 subscribers, I already got more than 25 likes on that. So I'm really close to getting 1000, please subscribe and you can get that uh, countdown for free. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next week.